we would normally use our um, putty knife to clean the paint out of a roller sleeve. The day I didn't have my putty knife was the day that I came up with the idea for a roller wipe. You'd have it in your overalls, you're taking it out, you're opening up the can of paint. Um, it's also really good for stirring the paint because it sits right flat on the tin and this edge here scrapes around, wipes around the inside of the tin. Um, and then of course you've got the roller wiper end at the last movement. See that your hands are miles away from it. Um, and you can see how much paint is actually coming out of that sleeve, it's quite a bit. If you have a close look, you can see what I mean about it actually squeezing the pile rather than scraping it. So it's not, it's not doing it any damage. If you get one of these into a tradesman's hands, you'll never get it back again. They'll use it once and that's it, they'll love it. They realise how much time, water, money and paint is saving. This is designed to fit in the counter box, um, but we can remove it, stick it the other way, uh, and then we can be strip hung. We had to make sure that we showed as much of the product as possible because if we'd fully enclosed it, people wouldn't actually be that curious to actually have a look and stop, pick it up and read the information. What we've done here is designed a cardboard die cut for the roller wipe. It's going to be able to hold 12 roller wipers, but also easily seen by the uh, customer as well. Just immediately knew it was a great idea. I mean, it was pretty obvious to me. And I've been painting myself for quite a while before I even met Brett, so I just thought this is a great idea. I knew it was a good idea, but I had no idea what to do with it. So um, it's kind of having a little bit of faith in yourself to go, right, who do I talk to, who do I find that's going to tell me what to do with this and how to get it up and going. And I was lucky enough to find the right person, which was the manufacturer here, Dwayne, at Plastic, and then he put me onto the tool maker. And then through, again, Plastic, we got onto the printer and then we got onto the carton guy. So just one good person led us to the next. 